my friends, we will attack the city at the end of the year. We must be patient. We must attack a bridge, a tunnel, something now. You are saying too soft. No, we will wait till the New Year celebration. see the mass destruction that we are capable of. Today, both you the most powerful people in America. The U.S. child will be waiting on the streets forever. My friends, very well. Leave it up to me. Allah Akbar. You just came back from Middle East. Yeah, I just landed when you picked me up. But it sure is good to be home. You see a lot of action, my friend? Man, I've seen enough action for a lifetime. You kill a lot. You know, I'm not sure how many people got killed. All I do is follow orders. They tell me what to do. It's just unfortunately that I had to shoot so many missiles into Fallujah. There's too many people dying in this war. This war is senseless. It makes no sense whatsoever. People are dying over there. You know, I'm sure a lot of people did get killed. But it wasn't my fault. They were trying to kill me just as much. You don't belong there. Well, somebody needs to tell Bush that. I didn't ask to go over there. I was sent over there. To fight against people I don't even know. I don't even know what this war is about. Does anybody really know? Is it over oil? Democracy? Freedom? Probably liberating people who don't want to be liberated. You sound like a repentant man. I just pray God forgives me. I hope he also forgives man. A man knows not what he does. Many soldiers are not like you. They enjoy what they do. Thanks. Well, at least I'm home to my beautiful wife. Thank you for your generosity. She's a very lucky woman. I'm going in to surprise my wife. She doesn't even know I'm coming. Nah, I think I'm the lucky one. I think I'm lucky to have her, man. She's a great girl. We got married a week before I left to go to Iraq, after only knowing each other two weeks. You Americans are crazy. I'm crazy in love. My friend, may Allah watch over you.
on, sweetie. Nothing would be perfect. Baby? I will take care of it. Hold on, they're calling me. Something big happened this week, maybe today. Yo, you working? Now, call you back. I'll call you back. Where to? Campus, quick. And I almost got caught with my pants down. In a hurry, eh? My mistress' husband come home early from killing them camel jockeys in Iraq. Almost caught me in bed with her. Camel jockeys? Camel jockeys, ragheads, towelheads, terrorists, whatever the fuck you want to call them. It's all the same shit anyway. No, my friend. It's not like that. And you are the terrorist killing women and children over there. Shut the fuck up, man. Your ass is even lucky to be here. Your mistress. That's what your American call a slut. Put it that way, yeah. Bitch, I guess you can call her a slut. In my country, we stone this type of woman to death. Oh, yeah? Well, in this country, they make a lot of fucking money. Take my mistress, for example. She stands to inherit a half a million dollars when her husband dies. Is he sick, huh? <laughs> no, not quite. <clears throat> but he may be dying from lead poisoning pretty soon. What do you mean? Well, actually, that's what she wants me to do. What about you? You ever kill anyone? <laughs> My friend, that's what I do. Oh, shit. That's right, I forgot. Well, hey, latest news flash. Mr. S Camel Jockey Killer is on the loose. Look out. Tell me a little bit more about your mistress. Instead of saying, man, I mean, you know, she's one of these women marries a soldier, he runs off to some war in Iraq, she hopes he gets killed and collects the money. 
fucking idiot. Doesn't even know her for a month and already he married the bitch. Problem is that he came back alive, so now she's gotta go to plan B. What's plan B? Ah, don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Yo, do me a favor. Pull it over right here. I gotta take a fucking piss, man. We got here. It's a male, late thirties, early forties, multiple stab wounds in the chest, slit throat. They really did a job on this one. Shit. Any ID? This is cell phone. Shit. Look at that. They did a number on it. Fuck. All right. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Oh 
happened? Weren't you with Joe last night? Girl, I almost got busted. Oh, you better tell me all about it in the bedroom. Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Any ID on him? No ID, but they found a cell phone on him, I think, right? Yeah, we're actually trying to trace the last phone call he did last night. Yeah, Sanchez and Torres. Okay. Call for him, get this one. Girl, I don't trust you. Why? Because you're not my type. Why? Can, can he even handle this? I mean, really, because this is for real Maryland, and I can't risk him screwing this up for us. <sighs> can you just let me handle this? I have Jill wrapped around my finger. He'll do anything I ask him to do. Let's just keep our plans. Why don't you stay behind here? I'm going to see uh, what Sanchez and Torres uh, find anything on that phone. Oh, the trace. Phone trace? Yeah, if they trace anything from last night. Right. Uh, stay behind here, question them, see what he got. Shake him up a little, see if he's getting anything out of him. Think this guy knows something? You no, know, maybe. You never know. You know, he's the only one on the scene. We have no other eyewitness. Right, right, right. All right, well, let's see if I get the pizza. So you want to take care of some fucking things? I'm sorry that you fuck that. Well, slice them up, boy. You know what? Get rid of that kitchen oh, knife, will you? Here. Let me tell you that. something. This shit works for me, man. Look, I use this shit all the time. This is weird. Tell you, motherfucker, man. What fucking happened? This fucking Arabian guy, Iraqi, and whatever the fuck you want to call him, this is wearing like a gray do-rag. I was in a car, and motherfucker stepped out and tried to fucking kill me yesterday. A fucking terrorist? Who? A terrorist? I don't know what the fuck they are. Snake charmers, terrorists, all the same shit. Anyway... You are going to call Johnny Q, you're going to call Terry Black. You guys are going to go out there, make some fucking phone calls, and find this fucking guy for me. Where's he from? I don't know where's he from. He was driving a freaking cab. I said so. I jumped in the back. I said some shit. I pulled over. Take a piss. He come after me. Almost killed me. What the fuck were you doing in a cab? Is that none of your goddamn business? Where the no, fuck were you when it happened? Right now. I don't know, man. I was just fucking... Where, you know where I was, all right? Yeah, right. Look, I don't want. Look, don't go there, okay? What Please. The you fuck? look. Listen. All we know is that this fucking guy knows Marilyn's business now. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All I know is that this motherfucker knows everything about her, all her fucking business. I fucking like an idiot said some shit in the cab that I should not. That's it. He's he he works for this fucking company called Hampton. Hampton Beach, Hampton something. It's a private cab. It, it's white with blue letters. I want you to make some phone calls. I want that motherfucker here. I want him in front of me. I want to fucking kick his ass and I want to fucking kill him. Cut his fucking nuts. Jump him down his throat and make him shit him out his ass. All right? Now fucking around. What are you doing? Standing around for nothing? Let's go. When I was in Sunrise Highway by Bellport last night, I saw a lot of cops in the grass looking at something. It says here that they found an unidentified body. Probably just another girl being raped and murder. Yeah, probably. Who could that be? I, I don't know. I have to go to the bathroom. Who's there? Who is it? Who are you? My name is Aliba. I drive a cab. I didn't call a cab. You must have made a mistake. No mistake. I brought a soldier here last night. Yes, that's my husband. He's not here right now. Did he forget something? No, it is you I wish to speak to. What about? It's about your husband. May I come inside? Okay, sure, sure. Please come in. Excuse me for being blunt. You want your husband killed. Who told you that? Your lover sent me. What lover? The one from last night. Chiao? I did not get his name. What did he tell you? Everything. What's everything? How you marry soldiers, take their money, hope they die over there in the war. Joe told you that because he's the one that wants my husband dead. Not as much as you do. Why are you here? How much? 
How much for what? How much to kill your husband? Suppose you're a cop. If I was a cop, you would be arrested already. Why don't we go back to business here so you can take care of my phone? That's what I do. Tell you what, Joe has a big mouth. Kill them both, I'll give you 10 G's for now, and 20% of the insurance money when I get it. 20% of what? 20% of 500,000. Sounds good. How about 20,000 up front? <laughs> what else would you like? Would you like to get the same thing Joe gets? No, I want you to deliver a package for me. What's in the package, drugs? Who are you? Marilyn is my soulmate. The lesbians have no souls. How did you know? Only blind cannot tell. Ugh, you people are still living in the Stone Age. You are living in a sin. Oh, this is Raquel. We're very good friends. Oh, we're much more than that. <laughs> Respect me! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Don't knock it until you've tried it. <laughs> Honey, this gentleman here... Aliba! Aliba, he wants to fix that problem. Oh, I see. And how does he plan on doing that? Don't worry about it. Leave it up to me. Well, I have to go to the bank. When you get the money, deposit that in my account and give the packet to the manager. So it's not drugs? We do not believe in drugs. Who are we? I grow weary of your questions. Ugh. Get rid of this guy. Plus, what do you think? We're just going to give you 20 grand just like that and then, oh, and poof, you'll be gone tomorrow. You can put anything you want in my bank account. Here is my account number. And pay me the rest when the job is done. So we can put in $100? You can put $100. But make sure I get my money. Don't make me come and get it. You get all your money if you take care of our problem. I'll put in five grand and... The rest of the balance will be tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I already took care of one of your problems. The other one, I'll take care of it tonight. What do you mean? You take care of it? Make sure you give the package to the bank. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What do you mean you took care of all the problem, Ali? Ladies, you have a visitor. Good afternoon, officer. Go ahead. How is it now? You look like a freaking cop. Wise guy. Can I help you? I'm Detective Torres. Detective Sanchez. What happened? Do you guys know Joe Rivera? Yes, yes we, we know him. When was the last time you saw him? Maybe you spoke to him? About a week ago, he was here with me and my girlfriend Raquel. A week ago? Yes, a week ago. At your husband's home? Uh, would you like some coffee, something to drink? No. What do we have to see? So let me ask you again, are your husband's home? Uh, I'm not married. My husband just got back from Iraq yesterday. At what time? Is he here? About 6 o'clock in the morning. He's not here right now. He's He went to check it out for Hamilton. Ladies, I left the package over here. Don't forget to mail it in for me. Who's that? A neighbor. Which is it? Well, he's my neighbor and he's her co-worker. Has you seen a by Joe? Joe was found dead this morning. What happened? It seems that he was murdered. Murdered? How? Joe was found with his throat slit from ear to ear. Do you guys have any alibis? 
No, I was here making love to my husband all night. I was at work. I work at the Red District Bar. Do you girls know anybody who would want to No, he was a sweet guy. No, officer. Well, if you guys hear or remember anything, give us a call. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Well, that was glass. We're not going to blame the post office anyway. You know those girls are lying, right? I know. They said I haven't spoken to him in a week. The dead man's cell says something different. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you for delivering that package for me. enemy. Not today. Today are you my friend. We'll meet again. An explosion rocked the industrial bank in Hampstead today killing many people. Reports have it that it was a couple of suicide bombers that blew themselves up so the conflicting reports claim that it's two Islamic females. In other news also on the island, the body that was found this morning on Sunrise Highway in Belport has been identified as that of a 40-year-old Joe Rivera. Oh, killing. Seen enough killing. I need to find him.
Peace and harmony. 